What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K21 for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to build the Lamello ball build in NBA 2K21. This build is amazing, it's a super super good playmaker, it can shoot, finish at the rim and it has quite a bit of defense and it's also really really tall compared to most other guard builds since Lamello ball is pretty tall now, I think he's about 6 foot 7 or 6 foot 8. So yeah this is a tall build but without any further ado let's get right into the video here. Alright, so in this first screen, nothing really matters too much except the position. You want to be point guard, the name, jersey number, hand, none of that matters. You can set that up however you want. Then go ahead and click continue. Now for the pie chart right here, you just want to go down to the pure yellow one or pure orange, whatever you call it. This one right here, majority playmaking. This is a really good all around pie chart for guards in really all positions. So this is the one you're going to want to take right here. Go ahead and confirm that. Now for the physicals profile, you just want pure speed. You want to be as fast as possible. Since you're going to be going up in height with this build, you're going to lose a little bit of speed, but this build will still be faster than most other guard builds in the game and most other builds at any position in the game. So you want to make sure you take pure speed right here, the top one, the one with the most purple. Go ahead, confirm that. Now for the attribute and badge distribution right here. First for finishing, just max out your close shot, driving layup, driving dunk and then move down your close shot just one right here so you still have those six finishing badges if you move it down anymore you go down to five you don't want that you want to make sure you have six finishing badges so the 81 close shot right here with the 88 driving layup and the 69 driving dunk those are going to change a little bit so don't get too caught up on them right now then for the shooting you want to max out mid-range three point free throw and post fade you want to have as much shooting as possible but you can bring down your post fade a bit and not lose any shooting badges so that's what you want to do right there Put your post fade to 64 and max out your free throw three pointer and mid range just like that. Now on to playmaking right here you just want to max out pass accuracy, ball handle and then just move your post moves up too so you get all 30 playmaking badges that you can get with this build which is crazy you're going to be able to get every single playmaking badge that you could want with this build and I'll show you guys how to put on the badges at the end of the video but for now go down to defense, max out perimeter, max out lateral then put your steal up to 75 right here and then max out your defensive rebound just like that it gives you five defense badges again that'll be enough for this build your increased height will also help you play defense against other guards as well so you will be good right here with five defense badges go ahead and confirm all of that now for the body shape it doesn't matter you can take whatever you want it won't affect the build in any way it's really just personal preference what you like the most i'll take compact for this build but again you could take whatever you want then for the height like i said you want to go way up here all the way up to six foot seven you can see it lowers a few things it raises a few things don't worry about that you still have pro dribble moves you're still going to be able to shoot consistently your shooting will go up in the next few slides as well you still have good finishing and defense and your speed also goes down a little bit but that's going to go up a little bit as well and remember once you run on the treadmill you'll get plus four to your speed so you will still be really really fast with this build but now you can go ahead and click continue for the weight you want to go down to 188 pounds right here this puts your speed up to 90 and again that'll get up to 94 with the treadmill boost 88 acceleration a couple other things change a little bit but nothing crazy so you just want to have your weight at 188 pounds right there just like that now for the wingspan you want to go down to 80 inch wingspan right here not quite minimum one above minimum so you have the 85 ball handle you have a 74 three pointer which again that'll go up once you get above 95 overall and also you could buy shooting boost for this build if you really need it but you should be able to shoot consistently and also a couple other things change but again nothing too much so go ahead and confirm that right there at 80 inch wingspan now for the takeover i recommend definitely taking the playmaker takeover for this build you could take shot creator if you want you do have an 80 mid range so you will be able to shoot shot creator shots but I think the playmaker is definitely the way to go. You can break ankles and you could help all your teammates with really, really good passing. So the playmaker probably the way to go for this build. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And as you can see right here, boom, you built a playmaker. Shades of Jamal Murray, Kirk Hendrick, and D'Angelo Russell. Obviously, it's not going to be Shades of Lamelo Ball because he's not in the NBA yet, but it does play like Lamelo Ball. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put on the badges right here as well as the final attributes for this build. So right here is the final attributes. You can pause the video right here if you want to see these, but I'm going to go right on to the badges here. First, for the finishing badges, you just want to get Consistent Finisher on Gold and Slithery Finisher on Gold just like that. You could also sub out Consistent for Relentless if you want, but I think this is the best way to set up the finishing badges for this build. Go ahead and confirm that. Now for shooting, you do have quite a few shooting badges on this build but for shooting right here i'm going to put corner specialist on gold dead eye on gold hot zone hunter on gold range extender on gold flexible release on gold and then with this last one you can either put catch and shoot on bronze tireless shooter on bronze or volume shooter on bronze i'm just gonna put volume shooter on bronze for this build but again with this last badge whatever fits your play style you can put it onto that now for playmaking right here obviously a ton of playmaking badges on this build first you want to get ankle breaker on hall of fame dimer on hall of fame handles for days on hall of fame 
Floor General on Hall of Fame, Quick First Step on Hall of Fame, Unpluckable on Hall of Fame, then you can get Tight Handles on Bronze, Needle Threader on Hall of Fame, and Space Creator on Bronze, just like that. This is more than enough playmaking right here. You're going to be able to do everything. You'll be able to dribble, pass, and help out your teammates really, really well, and you won't be getting a lot of turnovers. So this is definitely the best way to have the playmaking badges for this build. Go ahead and confirm that. Now for the defense badges right here, you only have five defense badges, so you got to be really good here. Just put clamps on gold and intimidator on silver, just like that, and you'll be good with these defense badges. Especially considering since you're six foot seven, most of the time you won't even be guarding the person who's dribbling the ball, unless you're playing with two big men on your team or something. But usually, if you're playing with an other guard on either threes or the rec or the five v five pro am, then you won't have to guard the primary ball handler. Really, the only way you'll have to is if you're playing with two big men, like I said, or if you're playing twos. And either way, these badges will be good, just like this. So go ahead and confirm that. And there you guys go. That's how you build the Lamelo Ball build in NBA 2K21. Hopefully you enjoy. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I upload daily NBA 2K21 content and I'm getting ready to start uploading next gen content as soon as it drops. So make sure you sub right now so you'll be here for that. And also go follow my Twitch. Link is in the description. But anyways, that's going to be it. All right. Peace.